Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video. So here today we are going to cover um, what is getting you banned, the act of getting banned, um, the the banning itself. We're going to focus on just um, you know all things uh, that have to do with an, the actual getting banned and being banned on uh, the PlayStation Network or from the PlayStation Network. Now I know it's been a while since I posted up. Uh, well, not just a it's been a while since I posted up a video in general, but also the video uh, to this series. So this is part three. Uh, the links to the other parts will be in the description. And part four, which will be the last part, I promise is going to come out a lot sooner, hopefully within the next couple to few days. So in this part, yeah, we're going to cover all of that regarding the actual ban itself. So um, let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. So when people get banned, the first thing that happens is they usually kind of get upset or they get shocked or whatever. Um, and, you know, I see this every now and then popping up that, you know, they say, well, Sony is banning me. Um, I don't know why I got banned. I don't see what the big deal is. Look, I I'm going to tell you that anytime you get banned, regardless of what you hear, regardless of what you read, regardless of what people tell you, whatever the case is, getting banned is 100% your fault. Although you may not like hearing that, it's the absolute positive truth. It's 100% your fault. Because the minute you decided, the second you decided to have CFW installed on your PS3, you took all the good stuff that comes with that. But like everything in the fucking universe, it has uh, a bad side to it. And one of the bad things on that bad side is getting banned. So whenever a ban happens to you, um, just keep in mind that this is what you chose. And instead of focusing on blaming the whole fucking universe, just focus on getting back online. Okay, so with that in mind, let's move on. There are a um, few different types of bans that can occur on your system. Now, the um, and they're in no particular order. There's an account ban. An account ban means your account has been, uh, of course, banned. And the downside to this is that anything tied into that account is gone. If you have a PSN, uh, you know, subscription, PSN network subscription, tied into this account, it's gone. Games that are, you know, tied into that account are gone. What makes it even worse is that some of you guys out there are really, really smart. You're, I mean, you're absolute brainiacs. You have your account on your modded PS3 exactly the same on your PS4. And when your PS3 account gets banned, guess what happens to your account on your PS4? It gets banned too. So and everything tied in with that account is gone, including your membership. Do yourself a favor and make sure you have two separate accounts if you have a PS4 and that each account is completely separated and has nothing to do with the other. All right, so uh, that just, believe me, it's going to help you a lot. Uh, the next type is the uh, system ban, which means that your console ID has been banned and you're going to need a new I, uh, console ID. And it tells you here that the system has been banned. Some people don't even know. They just see, like, the word banned, and they don't really pay attention here. They just think it's all the same thing, and it's not. There is a difference between the system ban and an account ban. The system one is console ID related. Now there's another one and I don't think there is a different verbiage for it, but there's an IP ban. An IP ban means your router has gotten banned. Now you must have done something pretty severe to get IP banned, but in those situations, uh, you're going to need to uh, get a new IP address on your router. So that's not really that hard. There's a million and one tutorials online that show you how to do that, and that's not PS3 related. So just Google how to change IP address on my router and just follow those instructions. Now you still may need to make a new account or you may need a console ID, possibly both. Um, but try the, um, you know, to change the IP address first and then go from there. Now when you get banned, of course, you know, a lot of questions come up. What do I do? How do I get my stuff back if I lost my account? Um, you know, and, and then you wonder how did it happen in the first place? And then for those of you that do lose your stuff or you just want to get back online uh, or a combination of both, you start to panic, especially if you lost your stuff. Um, you know, and the only way, unfortunately, is uh, to get back 
uh, to get your account re-enlisted is to get with Sony. So Sony is the only one who could do that. And good luck trying to get them to reinstate your uh, your account. All right. So what are some of the things that are actually getting you banned? Now, some of these you guys know off the top of your head. So I'm going to cover a few of them. But things like having CFW, having apps like Multiman, Irisman, PSN Patch, things like that in your system that are designed for you know jailbroken PS3s um, and are used uh, to having games actually backed up in your system uh, to modding online which of course is cheating uh, those four are the, the top ones top four reasons Now, normally you don't get banned for all of those usually you get banned for one of those fours but people with jailbroken PS3s um, it's like 99% of the time it'll be one of these four reasons. Now there's other reasons as well that you'll get banned, but these by far are the most popular. Now, I know that you've seen stuff out there that says, you know, that says anti-ban or something like this that says protect your SID. Let me explain something to you. There is no way you can ban proof your PS3 ever, okay? However, you can maybe take steps that can make you last longer you know between the times you get banned um, it just comes down to common sense intelligence and sometimes it's just pure luck so you know there's videos out there that show you how to take steps to you know wipe your history disable your CFW Cisco's files things like that I even made a video about that okay and the term anti-ban when you see that that doesn't mean that it it, it ban proves your PS3 Anti-ban works to a certain extent. Usually this is found, it's a, something that's found in eBoots that circumvents you from getting insta-ban for doing certain things. For example, GTA, you don't have uh, an anti-ban feature that, uh, you know, prevents you from getting banned when you drop money. If you use a menu to drop money, you're going to get banned instantly. But there's eBoots out there that prevent that from happening. That doesn't mean that you cannot get banned from GTA uh, for using menus. That also doesn't mean that your PS3 is protected from getting banned for other things. So, I mean, you can literally just sign into PSN, not wipe your history, not disable your CFW Cisco's files, and you're going to get banned, regardless of how many anti-ban eBoots you have in your system. So just keep that in mind. So one of the things that could be taking um, your console ID that you have no idea something that we covered in the last video if you do any type of modding online you know with menus with RTM tools or whatever there is a high probability like an almost 100% chance that you have come across a SID stealer and you may have one in your system right now you may have multiple ones in your system I promise you you use paid menus you have a SID stealer right now taking your um uh, your information and you'll be lucky if the only thing they took was your SID if you watch my last video usually they take out a lot more than that anyway um yeah if you've installed different eboots different SPRX menus if you use RTM tools then yeah you've come across SID stealers um don't don't kid yourself into thinking you haven't because there's no way there's no way your PS3 is going to tell you that it has one installed there's no antivirus or any anti SID stealer uh, program in your PS3 um, you may actually have like 10 of them in there right now and have no idea. SID stealers can cause you to um, get your uh, console ID banned extremely quick. Again, this is primarily for those of you that use mod menus, RTM tools, whether they're free or whatever. Um, and, you know, you can get banned at any time. The X factor here is what the person on the other end or people on the other end do with your SID and in what time frame do they do it so from the time they get your SID if they do something how much time passes and what they do with it do they keep it uh, for themselves or you know uh, give it to family and friends or whatever do they post it up in some forum you know to be total dicks and give it uh, give access to everybody um, you, you know give access um, uh, to anybody who goes to that forum to the number um, do they sell it which the vast majority of the time this is what happens and how many people do they sell it to one five ten twenty how do those people who get them whether it's from the forums whether it's the ones being sold how do they use them all of this factors in to how quickly you get banned because you have a SID stealer or you've come across one in the past there is no pattern to getting banned guys there really isn't you could be doing something that 
preventing you from getting banned for six months or a year. And then you, you know, you get a new SID and you, um, you know, you installed something or you use a couple different menus or whatever. And all of a sudden now you got banned within four days or within a week, you know, and then you're like, wait, why didn't I last so long before and not now? Well, this is the reason you have a different SID stealer and, uh, and, you know, the way the person or people on the other end handled your number was different than, you know, what caused you getting banned before. If you got banned by a SID stealer before, if you got banned for some other reason. So anyway, there's a lot of factors involved here. Time is a big one. So yeah, I just figured I'd share that with you. And if you have multiple SID stealers in your system right now, you can multiply all of this by that number, um, which means if you have five SID stealers um, in your system or, or that you come across that you use, then all, all of this gets multiplied by five times. That means your chances of getting banned are just five times faster than they would be if you came across just one SID stealer. So anyway, um, I hope this helped out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Be on the lookout for the next video where we're going to uh, cover where to get SIDs from, the you know truth and myths about the free ones that are out there, how to buy SIDs, legit ones, how to look out for the scams, and how to get your PS3 legitimately close to being banned proof. So we're going to cover that in the final part in part four. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.